Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today's Tip Tuesday video is for Diane. She inquired in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook about a barbed wire that would be safe for making sun catchers. What I'm using for this project is 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. I'll link it up below. I have my regular round pliers, flat pliers and cutters, and then of course a ruler. This was the first prototype that I made for a heart shape, so you can make this is the first prototype that I made for a heart shape. So you could make any length of wire and create any kind of designs that you like. So I'm going to start with a 40 inch piece of the 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire and I'm going to fold it in half and then just bend it like that. Now, if you want to make a large uh, sun catcher or home decor, of course, you'll need a much longer piece, or maybe you can make a few small ones and piece them together. So just bend it in half. So we're just going to bend. I'm going to push that one underneath here and crisscross them like that. And then we're going to hold the end and then just flip them that way. So I like to have this in the position that this one is on top, this one's underneath. I guess it might depend if you're left or right handed. And you want to keep them out at angles like that so you can have an even-ish twist. And then you're just going to take this and twist it around and then do it again. Keep them out at that angle around and then keep that at an angle and around. Then we're going to take a three inch piece of the same 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire, stick it in there, and then just to hold it in place, I'm going to give it a little twist here, okay, just like that. And then I'm going to twist this one again. One, two, and three. Now, you can make more space in between the barbs if you want. It's totally up to you. Do You can do three or four. We'll experiment with it. So now we're going to twist this one around again and this one around again. Now you can twist these ones as much as you want. You could even bring that one a little closer if you want the twist to be closer. And then the idea is to get these at different sides and you can do them at different angles along the wire as well. So there's with three twists. If we want to go further apart, we're just going to do another twist there and then we'll get another piece of our wire, stick it in here and then just give it, push it in as much as you want, give it a little twist around just to hold it in place and then do our twists. One, two, three and four if you want. And then here we're going to go ahead again, bring that one around, bring it in, one, two, three, or however many you want. The idea is you don't want them perfect anyways. So now we're just going to keep going till we get to the end of the wire. So now I've completed the whole length of wire. 40 inches of wire made 18 inches of the barbed wire. So now we're going to go through and cut them flush at whatever lengths that you want and you can always file them if you find them too rough. So I just drew out a little star like that. If I had 20 inches of wire I could make each length here about two inches. I don't have quite enough so I'm going to make each length here one and three quarters inches. So we're just going to take that make our first bend in between the barbs, bring that one on here and just measure about an inch and three quarters. So we're going to bring that one in here, bend it, and then bring that here, bend it. You might be a little restricted about where your barbs are, but you can maybe wiggle them around a little bit if you need to. And then we're going to bring that one in here, bend it here, and this one here. Yeah, and if you want to make this bigger, just make sure you use longer lengths of wire. Uh, do this in a room that you have lots of space. Careful not to poke anybody in the eye. I'm a little restricted here because I'm under my box lights and my camera, so I can't go as big as I would like to, but this gives you an idea. So this one here, we're a little tight with this barbed wire, so you can just like push it in a little bit if you have to and just kind of bend it in like that, just so it's going to be the right length here. Measure it again, should be good. 
and then see how we're doing with the star. So we need one more bend. I'm just being careful not to like touch those ends, although they're really not sharp at all, especially with the aluminum wire. It's pretty uh, blunt. So there we go. So we've got our basic star shape and what you can do from there is just carefully um, wiggle these around. Now you can certainly wear gloves if you're worried about poking yourself. That's not a problem at all. We're just going to bring these in. It's certainly better than using real barbed wire, which is super sharp. So we're going to bring that one in here. And then this one, we can always just double check, measure it to get it about one and three quarters as well. So the one and three quarter mark is about there. And then we want to bring this one around here. We already have a little loop to hang it up. So isn't that handy? So we're going to take this, bring that one around. This wire is nice and soft. It's very sculptable, so that's cool. We're gonna bring that one up here. So we have a loop. Sometimes I prefer to bend the loops perpendicular, and then when you put the string through it, it's going to sit uh, facing you. And then this one, you can just give it a little pinch there. And it's pretty funky. There we go. I have a little hack to get the star in a nice shape. We just want to wiggle it around a little bit and imagine this is a straight line across here. And then this is straight, this is straight, and this is straight, just to get it a little bit somewhat symmetrical. And there you have your barbed wire star, and you guys can make any shapes at all that you like with this DIY barbed wire. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.